Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic, and today we have a really interesting and relaxing challenge 2 divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2. On the first side, this like very easy challenge because we like have addition, we have division, so we have only two mathematical operations. And right now I suggest you to pause the video and write your solution down into the comment section. We will check our answers here in just one minute, so it will be really interesting to check our answers because this is a very tricky challenge, and in this video I'm going to fully explain you how to solve this challenge correctly, and I hope you will not make it this mistake right here because this is a very very tricky challenge so basically let's rewrite our challenge right here so we have 2 divided by 2 and we have plus 2 divided by by 2 here is our question and right now if you look closely we have division on the left side and we have the same division on the right side we don't we know that the 2 divided by 2 equal to 1 and we know that 2 divided by 2 equal to 1 yeah with this addition in the middle we have 1 plus 1 equal to equal to 2 yeah and we have this option this option c so one part of students solve this question like that they say okay division at first division right here and the last step is addition but there is another type of students they solve this challenge absolutely different according to this method they say okay 2 divided by 2 and plus 2 divided by 2 right now from left to right okay we have the first step we have division so we have 2 divided by 2 equal to 1 yeah 1 we have plus 2 divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2 right now we have once more addition we have 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and 3 divided by 2 equal to 1.1.5 this is option a and right now the main thing what is the correct answer to do this problem what is the correct solution okay because right here we have two different answers and one part of students it looks like our first interpretation this looks like that the second interpretation looks like that and as you can see a lot of students solve this challenge like that and right now the main question to you what is the correct answer to this problem a or option c right now i'm going to show you i'm going to explain what is the correct answer to do this problem because right here we have order of operation because right here obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right and as you can see right here we solve this challenge with one order we have two we solve this challenge with completely different order we have we have option a yeah and as you can see two different solutions two different approaches two different order of operation and two different answers right now let's solve this challenge according to this pemdas order of operation so this pemdas order of operation is the most popular order of operation in the world okay so right now let's rewrite our question let's like scan our question in a perspective of this pemdas first of all this pemdas works from the top to the bottom we have right here we have parentheses our first step next step we have exponents so we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses yeah the next step is multiplication division group and the last step is addition and subtraction group right now let's scan our question in a perspective of this pemdas order of operation basically we don't have parentheses we don't have exponents we don't have multiplication we don't have division yeah we have yeah we have division yeah we have division yeah we have right here division and we have addition yeah we don't have subtraction real great and right now if we look closely what do we have right here we have only division and addition part and as i told before higher position means higher priority so it means that what elements have the higher position it means that element has the higher priority in our case division had the higher position than addition so it means that the first step is is division but let's look closely in what interpretation we have this division part we have this division part in both interpretations in this interpretation we have division part and with this we have division part so it's not a good uh, it's not a good part to compare these two approaches but if you look closely at the second approach at the second step because after division we need to add okay we need to do addition part and in our case if you look closely after division part we make this addition part so this is a great a great solution in this case division then addition then division this is a really bad thing in terms of math because as you can see right here we just we just we can't do this like that we can't solve this challenge like that because division and then or addition and that all or like division then division then addition so addition all the time is after after division and right now let's scan two approaches the first and second at what is the correct answer let's look closely division really great right now the second step division really great and the third step addition so our first interpretation is a correct answer to this to this challenge 
So I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you understand why the correct answer is is two. Why not correct? Why correct answer is not one point five. But one really tricky moment right here. Uh, right here, if you look closely, 1.5 is very tricky, tricky solution to this challenge because, you know, for example, you plug in this challenge in your calculator. You like sit on an exam and you plug in this question in your calculator. So what do we have? 2 divided by 2. And you're going to plug in this at first. 2 divided by 2. And calculator say, okay, I have, I have 1 in this part. But then you're going to plug in this plus 2. And then your calculator add to this 2 your calculator add to this two one and as a result we have we have three and as you can see right here this is very bad solution when you plug in this challenge in your calculator because obviously you need to know what is the correct order to do this problem and if you don't know the correct order you need to plug in this challenge in your calculator and when you plug in the challenge in your calculator you need to plug in the whole entire problem because as you can see right here when you plug in uh, from left to right, we have 2 divided by 2, really great. But the second step is addition, because the calculator like, doesn't know what you have further, what you need to do further. And when you plug in the whole entire problem, your calculator can easily see, okay, I have division, addition, and division. I don't have parentheses, I don't have like exponents, and I know that division first, then division second step, and then is addition. So the correct answer to this challenge is option, is option C, is the correct answer to this challenge. So I hope you understand this explanation, I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of challenges, maybe like more than 100 videos on my YouTube channel with really interesting, quick and relaxing questions for every day, so I hope you will enjoy it, and I hope you will learn something new, which is my main goal on my YouTube channel, because I hope you understand, I hope you learn something new, I wanted to group people who are struggling with basic math, with pre-algebra concept, and I hope with this explanation, it's like a good time for you to learn something new. It's a good time to share this video with your friends. Maybe they want to uh, they want to check their knowledge. It will be really interesting as well. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.